I'm Chris. And I'm Jesse. And this is Raw and Real Podcast. We are professional photographer and videographers. And we'll be talking about everything photo and video and everything you need to know. Going full zip. Yeah, Never bro. go full zip, bro. He's a runner, he's a track star. <laughs> Obviously, from something I have no idea about. No. <laughs> Moment of silence <laughs> for that one. <laughs> What's up? And we are back. We're back. Um, so this episode is the last one of the season. We're gonna wrap it up with episode. Tw- I think it's tw- twelve. 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 Brain fart. That's why I have the Red Bull. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And this one's just going to be a... I think we're going to name it the nonsense episode. Yeah. Because we're just going to talk about random things. If that's cool with you guys. Doesn't matter if it is or not because we're doing it anyway. Anyway. (laughs) No no telling what we will say. Nope. Just like my track star thing that Jesse didn't get. (laughs) Did not. Still don't. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that hurts. Anyways. If you know what that's from, please leave a comment below or send us a message on Instagram. Sorry, by the way, on Instagram, I have other things to take care of. Mm. And that's sadly last on my list. I've been neglecting the followers. I have. Sorry. <sighs> There's only like 60 of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's sad. It's so mean. You're all a number, I promise. <laughs> Each one wait, wait, it, wait, it's supposed to be, <laughs> you're not a number. You're not a number. You're not a number. Each one of each you is one just of, assigned a number. It's a person. Each each number is a person. <laughs> I'm out of coffee. Before we start. Oh, were you meaning to refill that? No, I've already had my two, my two cups. Your two, oh. Cap yourself. My full Kimex. <laughs> if you don't know, <laughs> Jesse's, in my personal opinion, a bougie coffee drinker. Very. I'm a snob. A s- a a snob. snob. No, I I'm didn't not. give you that label. I'm not a okay. Snob. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because, like, I'm the complete opposite. Mm-hmm. I do not like coffee in any way, shape, or form. I So much so that I made a TikTok <laughs> account. Trying to find coffees that I actually do like. Yeah. And so far, I'm a mocha guy, which I have currently (laughs) found out it's chocolate. Chocolate milk. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Sick. Yeah. (laughs) That explains a lot. But so far, mocha is the only thing I'm liking. Let's see. I've had the bang and the triple shot. From Starbucks Mocha. Those are my only two highly ranked cof- coffee. Coffee. Quotes. Air quotes. Coffee. You can try the Monster. I haven't tried the Monster yet. Going to them. Going to. Gonna get. Gonna snag. How, how many? Of, how many flavors do they have? Um, I don't know. They have a bunch of them. They're kind of weird though. They don't make any sense. Oh. The one's called like, Wait, Java. Oh, do they coffee. have like stupid names? Kind of, but not really. Kind of I mean, like I think when it's you like pull Mocha Monster or something, Mocha Java, <laughs> Java Monster, yeah. Mocha Monster. I think they're easy to figure out. They oh wait, caramel, I, s- I think vanilla. I've seen those where it's like Mean Bean, yeah, and you're like, well, yeah, the Mean what Bean flavor is Mean Bean. <laughs> yeah, there's one that's clearly Mocha, and one that's clearly vanilla or coffee. The Mocha Monster, probably yeah. M M. <laughs> the Mocha Monster. Man, <laughs> I used to drink the White Ultra. The White Monster. Ultra is really good. I would drink like two or three of them a day for like several years. I was addicted to Dang. those things. They are so good. So top five energy drinks. Go. Anyway, I don't drink any, any of these, okay. but not anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, anymore. But number one has to be 
Red Bull Summer Edition, which is now the Red Edition Watermelon. Oh, yeah. It's it's juice. It's amazing. It's so good. That's a good. That's a solid top fiver. Yeah, that's definitely number one. Number two is probably the White Ultra. I don't even know what's called Ultra Monster. I think, I think it's just called Ultra. Yeah, I know they have a whole line of Ultra ones now. Oh, like the light blue, light red, purple, oh, yeah, all those yeah. now. Well, yeah, they name Ultras it. Ultra is right? like their. It's their like shirt. Ultra and then Ultra Blue. Yeah, and then anyways, everybody knows yeah. what I'm talking about. Color scheme things. <laughs> the white monster with super cool bottle, super cool can. It was. Yeah. It's like the only can that has like a texture yeah, yeah. to it. So that's number two. Number three may be original Red Bull. I love that. OG classic boy. Yeah. Can't and go then wrong four with is let's see, adrenaline shock. Yeah. Oh. Either their watermelon or the it's a, a different one. It's like the white one, I think. Yeah, definitely don't drink too many of those in a row. No. Because they have niacin, mm. which is more of a pre-workout supplement. Yeah, Red Bull's niacin. Does it? Not as much. Niacin is also a a a Reddit way to get rid of drugs in your system. You take a crap load of it before it... A uh, drug test. <laughs> Things I don't know because I've never done out. drugs. But you literally take like, like how many milligrams oh. does it say? It's in here, but it doesn't, it doesn't tell, tell you how much. Anyways. It's far down on the list. So I know on ingredients list, it starts off with. Yeah. You literally what, take like. What it has the most A of? thousand times the normal dose to oh. supposedly sweat and sweat it out of your system basically. Yeah. Because on ingredients list, it's always like what they have the most of in the can to least and it's near the bottom of the can Mm, yeah so it's like way down here yeah so and then figure number number one five for me is probably um it's probably a tie between some of the bang flavors because bang's pretty good like the watermelon bang i like and then there's a few more i don't remember the flavors but i'm not a huge fan of bang but bang has some good flavors they got a bunch of weird like cotton candy type flavors i'm not into those but the there's, just there's a couple that were pretty good. <laughs> it's just sugar. And then um, a tie between those and then like Celsius peach. Celsius is really good. I love the peach vibe. Oh, My wife really is good. obsessed. And I literally mean obsessed yeah. with the strawberry guava flavor. Yes. I've yeah. heard that she has Cases. Like, her Celsius time. Yes. Like some people have to take a nap time. Some people have like quiet time. No, hers is like oh, yeah. she it's, like blocks off 30 minutes. She... Or an hour. Do how, not how interrupt Celsius time. She takes out the Celsius, drinks it with it's, a straw. It's the bougiest table, little thing <laughs> you've ever seen. And she's so cute because she'll like find her little spot. <laughs> and she'll get all like, you know, almost, I don't know, brings her legs up on the sofa, pops her Celsius. Like, mm. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Mm. <laughs> she'll never listen to this, so it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Grabs her straw. Puts it in her can. Why she uses a straw with a can, I don't know. Because people touch the can. No, she buys the case. But the so we get the case. Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, the machine yeah. touches it. Nobody grabs those cans. No. Oh, that's all machine factoried. Fact, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> and she'll like put the straw in and just... <laughs> which, I kid you not, she does that. So if you think I'm lying, really enjoys her. <laughs> She's <Celsius>. like, <laughs> oh my god, oh yeah. She has her whole little thing. Yeah. It's funny. It's cute. Anyways, I've switched from energy drinks to now sparkling waters, and those are my thing. Trying all, all different ones. My watermelon lime, aha, uh-huh. guy right now. We'll go into the the sparkling waters next. Mm, so that's good. A, that's man. Okay, this will be the drink episode apparently. <laughs> I would say oof, number one for me, energy drink wise, has to be. A, it's from a it's from a smaller company. They're not crazy small, but this is Chris's affiliate link below. Yeah. <laughs> my brother actually has an affiliate Chris, link with Chris will be 10% on every it. I'll drop my brother's <laughs> affiliate link so he can get some kickback. But if I mean shoot, maybe we should <laughs> try. But uh it's by a company called Ray's. And they make this one flavor. 
They make a lot of flavors that are crazy good, but one flavor that is number one on my list is the Baja Lime because it tastes identical. And I literally mean identical to Baja Blast, Mm -hmm. except it's loaded with way more pre-workout supplements. But it is such a good little like sipper. Like if you just, Mm. or if you're Kara, you use a straw (laughs) and just, Oh, it's just I don't really like love Baja Blast like what? like currently, but I do uh, have some memories attached to that flavor. Oh yeah. Dude, as far it's as Taco so, Bell and oh, so my JIT days. We had so many weekend when warriors when uh Is JIT offensive? I don't know. I don't know what that term actually means. Yeah, maybe not use it if you don't know <laughs> <laughs> I mean I I know who it means, but Oh. Like I was a JIT, you know? Like you call people jits, but is it actually offensive? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't want to find out. <laughs> I don't want to lose the time. <laughs> I don't want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's my number one. Okay. Um, number two. Baja Blast by Razor. No. <laughs> <laughs> by Razor. Baja by Lime Rays. from Rays. Yes. Number two. I have to second you on the... Watermelon Red mm, Bull. So it's good. just too good. So good. It's one of those dangerously good drinks because you don't taste any of the caffeine or anything. It doesn't have yeah. like a it doesn't have that normal energy drink taste to it. Yeah, it's not the candy watermelon yeah. flavor. So after you finish it, you're like, you know, I could probably pop could another one of these. Right? You just no, pop yeah. open another and you're like, Oh shoot, this is my third one. <laughs> you're like, it's been an hour. I should stop. <laughs> What's dangerous is having cases upon cases of them you in a beverage to. in a beverage fridge, literally within your reach. A by beverage your desk. fridge. It was like right behind my desk in my home office. I could just yeah. reach one and grab it, and mm. that's dangerous. Yeah, I want dangerous. that setup, Very but dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I keep going back and forth. It's like I want one of those mini fridges yeah, in no. my office. But it's like, is it going to be too accessible to just sit there and just... Unless it's just sparkling water, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would probably have a mix because third on my list, I have yet to be able to find it ever again. Okay. Where were we? I think I was in... Was it North Carolina? Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been. <laughs> um, no. Okay. It was, I went on a missions trip to Costa Rica. Okay. And it close was, to Indonesia. <laughs> it's nowhere <laughs> close. Closer than North Carolina. Close, yeah, it's much closer to North Carolina than Indonesia. Yeah. But uh, it was their version of a energy drink, and it was called mm. Jet. Mm. And it had like five. Close to Jet. It had like five times the amount of caffeine and sugar than a Red Bull. Mm. But it tasted identical to it. Okay. So it wasn't like stronger tasting. It was like a cola. Yeah, but they like sold it in like a Mountain Dew bottle. Mm. So it's like. It's like homemade, like refilled Mountain Dew bottles. That's what it looked like. And it looked like they just wrapped this like okay. very crappily made like okay. label around it that said Jet. Okay. And it had like the tiniest ingredients list like right here. Yeah. I and probably would not like, drink that. No, I drink like five of them. Well, because I was only there for a short period of time, they're like, "Hey guys, we're gonna stop at the, the little <laughs> store. It most likely pick had up cocaine some stuff." In it. And I'm like, "Oh, okay. most likely had uh, cocaine, probably." And I grabbed like five of them because they're like, "Oh, these are the energy drinks here." Mm-hmm. And I'm, "Oh, well, this is all I'm gonna have, and we're gonna be go go go." Your boy needs to stock up. Yeah, you know, got to be alert and aware. You know, cartel swings by. I got to judo chop somebody in the neck. Coked for Jesus. <laughs> So, like, literally as soon as we got out of the grocery store, I, I, like, started putting them in my backpack. (laughs) And uh, the uh, youth youth pastor at the time, because it was a youth trip and I was a leader. Okay. Don't know why they gave me that privilege, but, um, (laughs) or responsibility. uh, He was like, bro, let's, like, chug one right now. And I was like, right now? And he's like, yeah. And I was like you're on he goes first one to finish it wins i was like okay and so like a lot of people don't know this but like these were like like almost frozen 
So they're like really, really, really cold. Mm, okay. Like almost kind of hard to Slushies. hold. Yeah. Almost. So I guess that's just what their freezer did to them. Okay. Or a fridge. But uh, do we like cracked them open? And a lot of people don't know this, but I don't get brain freezes. I've never had a brain freeze. Nice. So to chug something is like piece of cake. So like, <laughs> I down like the whole thing in like a minute. And he's like halfway through. And he's like, oh. And I'm like, what? And he's like, oh, brain freeze. It was just funny. Wow. That's That was my connection brain with freeze. it. Hmm. But uh, I don't know why. <laughs> and you're still alive, so he didn't oh, die yeah. from it. No. So what was that? Number Never one? been the same, but you Three. didn't die. No. <laughs> Um, let's see. What was that? Number three? Yeah. Okay. Number four. I will classify it as an energy drink because it says energy on the can. Okay. But it's the Arizona RX energy. And it's like this mm-hmm. big. I think it has like 300 milligrams of sugar in it. Of sugar? Sugar. Wow. It's It's got a ton of sugar. Of sugar. So... Care blowing up your phone. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. She sent you pictures. She just got featured on Phil Chester's presets page. Oh, okay. Okay. That's big. Right? Okay, when the wifey sends you good news, you (laughs) you reply immediately. Immediately. (laughs) Or suffer the wrath. Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. <laughs> Is there another good emoji to use? Melting face. I don't know what it means, but it's melting. <laughs> Dude, have <laughs> you seen the new emojis? I love it. It's my favorite one. It's a response to everything. Just the melting, <laughs> melting face. <laughs> my face is melting because I'm so happy. My face is melting because I'm sad. Dude, emojis have come such a long way. Yeah. They used to be crap. You remember when you asked, well, it's going to age us real quick, but when you had the flip phone, mm-hmm. <laughs> there's age number one, yeah, and you had to T9 Just text it. Colon parentheses. Semicolon yep. parentheses. Semicolon parentheses. You guys on that winky face, mm-hmm. bro. And then, like, semicolon what was it? The, asterisk. The trend came face. along to where that one website would, like, literally draw pictures with oh, semicolons yeah. and stuff. <laughs> you would just copy it and then like send it and they're like oh, you're so artistic and you're like yeah yeah I know like how did you make a bunny and you're like oh man frick it was on the website I don't know which one I sent <laughs> you know a phone that I never had that I was that was cool and I'm like man people are so cool but oh, they're so stupid for using is a sidekick I think I used one for like a couple months <laughs> the shame but, I just got but I never <laughs> used one because it was only on T-Mobile. T-Mobile, and I never had T-Mobile. T-Mobile exclusive. We were always... Your boy has been on T-Mobile since I've had a phone. <laughs> See, I was Altel. Altel, okay. Which it was then Verizon. Yeah. Uh, Verizon bought Altel. So I was always on that. So I never had like the AT&T phones, which was like the Razor. Yeah, I never had the Razor. And I never had a Sidekick because that was T-Mobile, but I always had Dude, Altel and Verizon. Which that's was, a good topic. Let's go through yeah, phones. phones. Even though I didn't finish my drink list, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I have five a, is a mystery. I, five will forever be a mystery. I don't know why. You know, when the wifey sends you a celebration, you celebrate, and then you lose track of what yes. you were actually doing, and then you just move on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, the first phone I had was a Motorola, and it was just like a brick yeah. of a flip phone. Like <coughs> my oh, it fi- was a flip phone, though. Yeah, it was a flip phone. Like my fist right now, um, which is probably. Cl- like it's silver a, with the black stripe in the middle? Yeah. It was just... I'm serious. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of size. It was like we get probably it. It was a, break. a little bit smaller than yeah. my, my fist, which is absurd for a cell phone okay. nowadays. But, like, dude, I've accidentally ran over that thing. Mm-hmm. I've hit someone with it. <laughs> like, I actually still have one of my first phones. It still. never broke. Yeah. That was one thing I applaud all the old phones for. They never freaking broke. Yeah. And then when they did broke, broke, broke it did, when they broke, did broke, break, brain fart, 
when they did break, like they were like gone. They were like gone, gone. Yeah. It was like there was no reviving that phone. It gave you everything it had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I was a sidekick kid. Because mm. let's see, the first one I had, I didn't get the three. That was too cool. If my parents said no. <laughs> I don't remember. I, had, I, don't, I just remember in general which one I had first. I still have one. I forget why I had one. I had one for a few months. I had, oh, I had, so my brother, my younger brother got one. He always did. Got whatever he wanted. Love yeah, you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a favorite. Yeah. Oh, not the yeah. favorite one. No, he's he was. just the older one. No, he was the younger one. He was yeah, the that's younger. the favorite, right? No, yeah, he's yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I know this. He doesn't you know? listen like to I this anyway. It's fine. Mm-hmm. But. Because uh, I'm the younger one. I was the Oh, see, there you go. Yeah. But uh, he got the Tony Hawk edition one. Oh, and I was okay. like, nice. I, need, I need that. I need that. Yeah. And so, like, dude probably used it for a few months. Saw his friend with an iPhone. Got an iPhone. Mm. And then I was like, well, your boy over here way <laughs> too broke to buy an iPhone. So I was like, well, let oh, me wow. use that one. And he was so like, you use sidekicks when there was iPhones around. Yeah. Wow. So I was like, well, because I never messed with one. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't know the hype. Yeah. So your boy side kicking around, playing little tank game. If you had a sidekick, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That was the best game ever. Tank. Okay. It was like a little, some little tinker tanks or something, tinker toys or whatever. But like you would have a little tank on this side and the enemy on this side, and you'd have to figure out the angle. And you'd. Okay. It was kind of like um, pocket tanks. You ever heard of that game? I think uh, that's what it was called. It, it might have been from game. that. It was a PC game. It was amazing. Yeah, like this was like an old game. game. It was like an But exclusive. this one has like, you had like different different um, bombs and stuff that you could shoot. Yeah. Okay, it probably was the same game, but yeah, like, like rubber, this was like, like. One of them was like rubber balls. Yeah. Yeah, it was like mm-hmm. the exclusive to so much the sidekick. I'm that game play it again. Yeah, I know. Pretty sure it's called Pocket Tanks. Pocket Tanks. Yeah. yeah, we'll go with that. It was one. me That's and my brother's cool. favorite game for like years. Yeah, it was on the sidekicks, all okay. of them. And I could not find it on anything else. Wow. Like, I still have it on. I have a sidekick ID still. Okay. Still. Hey, for yeah. some reason, I don't know why, but I have it. Okay. And I plugged it in the like a few weeks ago and charged it up and played that tank game. Like, Jamie, can you pull up Pocket Tanks? <laughs> what? That's from Joe Rogan. Oh. It's fun. He's always like, Jamie, can you pull up? And it's always just like some random thing on the screen. Oh, some random dude yeah. off in the corner is like, oh, yeah, let me just. Yeah. They always show him on camera. But he like he gets so high, and then he just like talks about this random stuff. And he's like, Jamie, can you pull up? Like, oh, pulls up some guy Jamie. with that. Yes. Jamie, can you pull up? Really oh, my gosh. To be Joe Rogan, just talk about whatever the heck you want for hours on end for your podcast. Such a blessing. Yeah, just but, yeah. It, just like that. Similar. Yeah, just like that. But less colors. <laughs> There's a lot of color in that one. I'm pretty sure it was called Tinker Toys. Apologies if you Google that and it's really weird. What? I'm going to Google Tinker it. Tinker Tanks? <laughs> Tinker Tanks, maybe? Uh, nothing's coming up for me, so maybe not Google that. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. Anyways, then I got after the sidekicks. Definitely went straight iPhone from that point forward. Never buy anything else. But that thing. Oh yeah, that was like the touch one. They put a touch screen on it, which kind of eliminates the need for the keyboard that you had. <laughs> So, I don't know. Like, the iPhones got so good to a point to where, like, you just didn't need half the features yeah. that a phone like that offered. Yeah. So, it was kind of like, what the do I need? The only benefit was that you had a full keyboard, and it was a big yeah. keyboard. Yeah. Blackberry sucked because they were tiny little keyboards. The worst. Yeah. And that's why like, they didn't succeed. The sidekick, you could fully, like, double hand text. Yeah. 
and you had a full like qwerty keyboard have you ever done that on an iphone it feels very weird yeah no i don't do that at <laughs> texting all texting like that it's <laughs> so weird yeah you you well i say cool downgraded but yeah, downgraded you just you a new downgrade phone. it's an iphone <laughs> you just i downsized some, downsized yeah ditched some features you didn't care about yeah which is fine went with the mini it's funny because i went the opposite direction and you got bigger. i had the mini and because battery life was so atrocious which because i haven't been using my phone i i didn't charge it for two nights straight and it really? was still at like 50 percent battery or something nice but i wasn't using my phone either so yeah i use my phone a lot for a lot of different things when i use it i mean it's, even editing it's like 10 percent at the end of the night do you ever like edit check on your phone never like airdrop something over to see what it looks like on a phone I mean, I airdrop it over when I send it. See, I always, I like, was like, like I'll mm, send let them. me double check this edit and I'll airdrop it to my phone, to see what it check it like out and be like. Which is a good idea because. I'll be like, oh shoot, that looks green as crap. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to Lightroom. and Because my screen is very accurate, but this is what people see. Yeah. So different. I'm like. And some me. people have true tone on, some people have true tone off. Exactly. Some people have the night shift on. Night I have shift night off. shift on, but I like, turn all that when off. When I go to edit, it's hard to. When I go to edit, I turn it off. So, it's off right now, and it has a time, it has a timer, to go. Hey, dummy, you should probably go to sleep. And I'm like, it's only four in the morning. It's fine. That's yeah. literally referring to last night, which is why I got here so late. <laughs> okay. So, side note, I. I bought my daughter a Nintendo Switch, right? Like a couple years ago or a year ago. So bad. Yeah, it's it's really awesome. I play Pokemon on it mainly. But um, I... Classic. So last week before I... So I just started like four or five days ago. I started this um, kind of fast type of thing where I'm fasting entertainment and games and my phone and all types of stuff. Everything fun. Yes. (laughs) And trying to... to become less addicted to technology on my phone so that like I even deleted every app that I deleted every app on my phone that I couldn't do on my computer. Like if there was an app that I needed my phone to do, then I kept it, it. but it's like my banking or something, you know, like nothing. I deleted everything. And like even all these apps that I'm like, well, one day I'll use, but they were just hogging up my phone, you know, just like I have too much, right? I deleted everything. Even YouTube, which is very hard to do. Even YouTube. Oh, yeah. I, no. I'm taking a YouTube break. I because I, it consumed way too much of my life. Anyways, so I anyways, too much. before I started this, I I got on my switch. So the problem with technology is, let's say you're like, I need to take a break from Instagram, so you delete Instagram, right? You just put that into YouTube. You put the time that you were into Instagram. Oh yeah. So you're like, oh, I'll delete YouTube, and you're on TikTok or whatever, and so. Let's say I'm like, I'm going to take a break from my phone, not do any of that. Well, it, I could just play on the Nintendo Switch for an hour at, you know, at nighttime. And okay. it's usually only a couple hours at night or um, a couple hours in the morning. And so, like, when I get here, yeah, before I get started to work or after I get home and, you know, bed, anytime. Anyways, I downloaded Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Shut up. They have Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 combined, remastered for the Nintendo Switch. Dude, Dude it's amazing. <laughs> I love it so much. I loved those games when they came out. I played them on the 64. I would be hooked. It is so, and it they work so well, and they have all of the original features, the secrets, you know, you jump into the building right in the warehouse right at the beginning. Oh, that's the best. They're so amazing. You get Dude, to play as all the characters. So I'm like Rodney games mm. are just... They also have Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, the first, like, the first three that San Andreas... Vice City and GTA. That 3. just always made me want to do bad things. Yeah. <laughs> so I. N- <laughs> Were you allowed to play those as a kid? I was not okay. at my house, See, but I when was. we went to my cousin's house, you rob he, hookers and stuff, like, all kinds of. Yeah, I'm like I rob people, you run over people, punched a random get pedestrian, out, then the collect face. their money. Oh yeah, and I'm like, this makes me want to do this yeah. in real life, and I, this is not good. Yeah, no. So I like, definitely did that. I think I played games. it like five or six times, and then just never played it again. It gave me bad urges. I was like, that's the newer that's ones are good. a little bit more creepy and a little bit more intense as far yeah. as like you can walk into actual strip clubs and yeah. pay the girls and Yeah, that's it's too realistic. Too much. There's the ones that we had were, were pretty actions. still Yeah. You look like a Lego man running across the street. Yeah. Like everything was just blocky. Yeah. Even 
the cars, everything. Yeah. It was not the best of quality. <laughs> now the quality is too but, good. But so they put those on the Switch as well. Oh, that's crazy. And then there was one other game that I was going to play, but I didn't. Anyways. Yeah. So for nostalgia's sake, did you mention the Tony Hawk sidekick? Made yeah. me think of that. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, man. Dude, that was like the legendary game for the longest time. Yeah. Until Skate came out. Yeah. And s- did you ever play Skate? No, I don't think oh. so. I, I mean, I'm, I played it a few times, but not like it took. Not like I did Tony Hawk. I mean, uh, that was like every it took day after school. Skateboarding games, game. like in my opinion, to the next level, because it added in the little bit of difficulty that you needed to make it realistic, but still fun. Yeah, and enjoyable, like a video game. Because some there are some games that are just way too realistic. Like yeah. when that when the Tony Hawk skateboarding game came out, and they gave you like the board. To balance on too much, too much. It's too hard. Mm-hmm. It's way too complicated. Yeah. Like simplify it. This was like you have the joystick. Want to do a kickflip? Do the motion of a kickflip. I like it, and they and they they animate the the kicks like kicking off yeah. and, and, and actually like, everything was like perfect. making your board go. Like to Tony Hawk t- Pro Skater, you you just go just, forward. You don't even ever skate. You just move. Yeah, you just win. And, and you like, move unless you tell it to stop. Yeah, and like this one, you had to find spots. Yeah, you had to figure out how much speed you had to get. It was like realistic enough. Yeah, except for the falling, because then they would just like, <laughs> like I don't know, like dump yeah. turn into a dummy in like two seconds, <laughs> and they would just <laughs> free fall, yeah. and then just I don't know. There was like one challenge, and there was like, what is it called? <laughs> Terrible name, but it's what they named it. It's called the Hall of Meat. And what? They called it the Hall of Meat. Okay, Hall of Meat. And <laughs> it's a place you've been to before, Chris. No, that's what they <laughs> no. called it in okay. the game. And what you had to do was see how many bones you could break. Okay. So you'd have to find a spot to jump off of and break as many bones. And as break you as can. many bones as you can. Okay. And Fun. they're like, "Oh, you broke. <laughs> you broke eighty-seven bones." So ridiculous. you're tenth in the hall of meat, and you're like, okay, it it served no purpose at yeah, all in the game, cool but it was just I don't know. I guess it was fun yeah. to just, hey, you got rewarded for falling. <laughs> Good job for dying. For dying. Oh, well, well, we can. On that note. On that note, thanks, guys, for an entire season twelve episodes episodes yeah so, so let let us know what should we do next what are things that we should talk about yeah. should we turn this into a uh, coffee podcast should we bring on guests like what do you think yeah let us know should we switch sides <laughs> should we switch <laughs> sides just mix it up on everyone yeah. no telling when the, when is the next season next year uh, in when, two months whenever we want springs spring and a fall we'll, we'll probably let you know right maybe Will this be a wedding season type thing? We follow the seasons of the follow weddings? the seasons. Gives Maybe us a break not from doing weddings. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Nice. Anyways, we got some things coming up too. We've got video ideas for doing some oh. stuff, right? Sure. We've got we talked about some short films. Oh yeah, yeah. That'll be fun. And then I have some other cool ideas. Some quite quite a few projects. Yeah. So, I have. Mine being posted on my channel, which is Chip X Hazard, but yeah, you've got your little photo journey you're doing. Yeah, I don't know. I said little. Well, my mom always did. You and your little friends. You and your little friends. Yeah, just gonna minimize everything. (laughs) It's fine. Anyways, your strong photo journey that you're doing. Yeah, my little photo walk. Your big photo walk. (laughs) Did you ever edit those ones from the abandoned buildings? Yeah. Uh, Every. Just didn't show them to me. Everything's already edited. Edited. And queued up, edited, edited. To go. Okay, so yeah, I have right. like the next like five Mondays, because those episodes get posted every Monday. So okay. the next five Mondays are already ready to go. There you go. Been hustling. All right. Well, wind it up. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Wind it up. I have to be so bad. Should you stop it? Wind it up. <laughs>